Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to do a messages from your loved ones in heaven reading for the zodiac sign of Leo for the month of May year 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you're one of my returning viewers, watchers or subscribers, welcome, welcome back. I'm sending you so much love and light and blessings always. If you are a cross watcher, welcome, come on in and join us. Everybody's welcome always. Sending you love and light and blessings as well to each and every one of us. Okay, I have not done a message like this in a while, probably like a year ago. Um, I only used one deck at the time, and that was the Talking to Heaven deck by Doreen Virtue and James Van Prong. I love that deck. I am going to use it again. But the exciting news here is I have two new decks to add to this, and um, I'm excited. I've been using these for these messages for these zodiac readings here and i'm loving it i love the energy i love the way they're intertwined i love the messages and the cards are stellar they're beautiful the messages are great i love them love them love them love them they did an incredible job oh my goodness i love it so if you guys want to see the new decks that i have included um please read the description box below okay in this reading i will not be using reversals um yeah, I'm very particular how I use my cards and which one I do it for, but I won't be doing reversals for this particular reading. This is a very personal reading because we all can um, relate to death. It's very sensitive reading. It's a very um, human reading. You know, it connects us all. We all have experienced a loss, whether it was a celebrity or a close family member or friend or even an animal. It's very hurtful. It's painful. And if you haven't learned by now, we don't get over it. We learn to live with it. And there's beautiful, amazing, positive ways to do that so that we heal. But it's not going to stop us from crying. It's not going to stop us from missing that person during certain, you know, special moments and occasions like holidays, birthdays, their anniversary of their death. Um, when you miss somebody, you love them. You love them forever. Okay. Forever and ever and ever. And they love you too. Please do not forget that they miss you as well leo okay death is a very sad thing we all know but it's also a very beautiful thing and life goes on your loved one would want you to go on and never just sit there and stay stagnant they never want you to, to give up they know that you miss them and they know it's going to be some really difficult times when you do you have your days we all do and that's human that's normal it's okay just do not stay in that pray get up and do positive things for yourself and for the world. You have a whole entire life to live, Leo. Do not stop. And um, just know that they are always with you. They may not be here in the physical, but they are here in the spiritual. And that's even higher. They can protect you in ways you haven't even thought of. They hear your prayers. They hear your thoughts. Talk to them out loud and in silence and in prayer and in your head, in your personal private thoughts talk to them say whatever it is you need to say and get off your chest tell them how you feel or how you felt about certain things laugh to yourself it only makes you human do not just hold it in and hold it to your chest and go through it alone none of us are alone and you need your family you need your friends you need your tarot card readers and your guides and your helpers and your entire spiritual team and your friends in the physical world and your co-workers and your neighbors we are all human this is what makes us human our humanly experiences and connection more than just our bloodline we are all god's children all of us so we are all connected spiritually mentally emotionally physically in every way possible okay when you have those dark moments and those deep times that is you're going through it Remember to do what they would want you to do. Believe me, they would want you to get up and live your best life. They see your graduations. They come. They see when you're promoted. They're clapping, cheering, and celebrating, and laughing, and smiling, and they are celebrating you and your life, too. Your wins are their wins. Your triumphs are their triumphs. When you're down and you're sad, they're going to send you some kind of luck, some kind of blessing, Know that they're there. Talk to them. If you have a big presentation coming up, tell your family, your friend, your loved one, I need you to be there with me. They're coming. 
They're coming. They got you. Know that. Like I said, death is beautiful. It's not just sad. Going home to your Lord, walking with your King, walking with Emperor God and King Jesus. Does it get better than that? No. Beautiful, indescribable. These are the things that they get to see and do. And we will too in our time. But while you are here, you need to walk your path, your life purpose and serve God and live your best life. There's so many things you can tap into your gifts and your dreams and your aspirations and all the goals that you have for yourself. Don't just reach for them. Accomplish them. That's what they would want. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Know that your comments are incredible. They keep me going. I do appreciate them. I read them. You guys are very sincere. You're very real. You're very loving. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I cannot build this channel without you. So thank you so much to everybody that's a part of all the views, the likes, the shares, the subscribes. You keep me going. You, you keep the channel growing. And we are a team. And I appreciate you. As of right now, I am pausing personal readings and personal life coaching sessions. My schedule is a little bit busy and I'm dealing with some technical stuff, but I will iron it out. I will get through it and I'll let you know when I open them back up. For anybody who's ever donated through PayPal or Cash App, I do have that available still. I prefer if you guys use the PayPal route right now, but Cash App should work as well. For some reason, Cash App is not letting me give out. It's only letting me receive. So um, I've said this in other readings. Maybe Spirit just wants me to receive right now and I have no problem with that, but I do like to give back as well. But um, if you've ever donated to my channel spiritually, emotionally, with a comment, a like, a share, just being here or subscribe, just know I appreciate that very much. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'm sending sincere blessings, well wishes, and so many wonderful things your way. And if you have donated financially, please know that everything that you're putting into me, I'm going to put back into you guys and into this channel. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Every cent matters to me. It counts. And I know spirit is going to bless you in folds for your good deeds. Please know that even if you just had a good thought, a good comment, all of it matters and it means a lot. Please know that you guys truly make my day. And I do read the comments, the beautiful and sweet comments that you guys leave when you do a donation. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Okay. Leo, let's begin your reading i will be using three decks in this reading i will read your cards intuitively and i will be reading from the card and the book the messages at the bottom of the deck are higher level messages so i'm going to read those um intuitively and from the book just those i'll read from the book as well i only have two books the third deck doesn't have a book but i will still read um the card from the bottom of the deck and whatever comes out i will shuffle in front of you all the cards have been meditated on and shuffled, um, but I'm going to shuffle again just because I feel inclined to. And let's begin your reading. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Leo for the month of May, your 2021. All of the loved ones, please step forward and provide your most important messages that you want your loved ones to have for Leo, for the zodiac sign of Leo. What are your messages? What are your messages for Leo, loved ones? All right. Thank you, Spirit. We're ready for Leo. For Leo. For Leo. For the month of May, your 2021 for Leo. For all the lovely Leos out there. There it is. Okay. I'm going to read from the bottom of the deck first, and then I'll read that message. Oh, wow. And that message that just came out. This. So let me just tell you guys right now. I have a message that came out for the zodiac sign of cancer. Some of you guys may have um, a loved one who have um, crossed over to heaven. That loved one may be a cancer or have cancer in their chart. You may be dealing with a cancer now. Um, you may have cancer in your chart, but I was just watching the cancer reading because this message just came out. And of course I pre-shuffled and then I just shuffled again in front of you guys and it still came out. Okay, and I'll get to that one in a second. All right, let's start at the bottom of the deck. Leo, you have, I was met by so many loving people. When your loved ones crossed over, if you've ever wondered, like, I wonder if they met up with auntie this and 
grandpa this and great on him. Yes, they did. They were all waiting for them. Okay. And, um, it's such a beautiful feeling. They got so much love. They were embraced by people they knew, people they didn't, ancestors and all kinds of people. Um, they got so much love from, and then people that they knew while they were alive that have passed over. So, um, they were able to see friends and family and all kinds of people. They were embraced. They were loved on. And, um, I, I can't even stop smiling. This makes me so happy because, you know, we always wondered that, you know, I wonder if they got to see this person or got to know that person. Or, you know, they may know people like babies that haven't even been born yet. Some of you will be expecting children that your loved one has cared for before you got to meet them. You know, this is how God works. God is this amazing. Um, he can do all things. You know, they can see ahead. Some of you were warned that you're going to have a baby and maybe your loved one knew the gender of that baby. Um, because if you think about babies, usually they come when someone's passing or passing over. And I just saw 11, 11 on the clock. So it's, thank you for the confirmation spirit. So oftentimes God will take somebody and replace them. You know, not we can never be replaced, but he will send you a gift. That bundle of joy is usually a baby or somebody in a family you may find out is pregnant or they're pregnant again. So um, congratulations to anybody expecting or getting an unexpected, beautiful bundle of joy gift or somebody finding out news of a pregnancy or something of the sort. Um, if not a pregnancy, then definitely a new start, a new beginning. Some type of incredible project you're about to embark on is going to be like life changing for you and for others. Some of you are creating generational wealth and it's going to be amazing. A lot of people may not have believed in you, but this person who crossed over and your loved ones, they do. Um, they believed in you. They always knew um, you were going to do great things. They always saw the light in you, Leo, and you are a guiding light for many. So please know that. This makes me so happy. You guys know I'm a Leo, right? So um, I'm a Leo's son, so I'm like, I'm overjoyed. But doing these messages, anytime I do messages, you guys know I like uh, to bring the energy, but spirit brings the rest. I mean, it just, yeah, I bring my part, but spirit, you know, all glory to God. I got to give them the credit because they bring me the messages. I'm just the messenger. But um, being a Leo, you know, I'm always excited when I get to us. But anyways, let me read from the book. So... And this card hasn't come out yet for any of the signs, so I'm loving this so much. Okay. Okay, Leo, your loved ones from heaven want you to know this message. I was met by so many loving people. Leo, I want to put your mind at rest. I did not die alone. None of us ever comes into earth, into the earth world, or ever enters into heaven alone. I was met by all of our loving relatives, friends, and even souls I did not expect. I was greeted so beautifully by my magnificent angels, teachers, and spirit guides who gently escorted me into my colorful, heavenly life. It is all so splendid and so real. I cannot express to you the amount of love I was welcomed with. It feels so natural to be loved. I think I forgot that when I was living on earth, when I came here, it was a wonderful reunion. It is a place where you see the best in everyone. And they also show you the best in yourself. It is indeed heaven. Wow, right? That's why I love this book. I could read this book alone and just read it again and again and again. It's, it's just amazing. They did an incredible job during Virtue and James Van Prague with um, Talking to Heaven. This deck is incredible. The book is incredible. It's incredible. I love it. But like I was saying, Leo, this message here, this is the other one that came out. This one says, I have a new understanding. This message came out in Cancer's reading. And that's why I um, let you guys know, you may want to watch that reading, but you have free will, do what's best for you. Amazing. They have learned so much about life, about spirit, about God themselves. It's like a new type of learning. It's higher level, much higher level. Um, and they're happy. 
They're at peace. They feel at one with the universe. It's almost indescribable. The joy I'm getting right now is because they feel elated to talk to you and to let you know like heaven is heaven. You know what I mean? It's, it's nothing like it. And we will know in our time, but while we're here, we're meant to be here and learn as much as we can before we get there. They've graduated. They've elevated. They've moved on. We all will. Just do what you're supposed to do in this life and you will get there too. God is an awesome, amazing God of all things. They are truly at peace. They're at harmony. They have experiences we haven't even tapped into yet. But they want you to know they're happy. They're doing well. They're overjoyed. They're seeing life in various ways and they're just exploring. They're flying. They're doing it all. They are doing it all. The things that they see, the colors they see, the things that they touch, the things that they can tap into and all the things that they are knowing. They have like a new knowing of life. Like this is the real life here. It's like life has truly begun in heaven. <laughs> like they, for those who didn't get to experience a lot of love or various types of love, maybe they only got like so much, but the love you gave them, they're acknowledging was, was immense. They're thanking you. They want to thank you for loving them the way that you did and for being who you are, Leo, not just then, but now. Um, somebody's thanking you for how you love the world, how you love yourself, how you love your kids, how you love them, how you still love them and keep their memory alive, how much you care, all the effort and work that you carry on your back alone, Leo. You are never alone, Leo. But I know they're saying there's times when you feel that way because you do so much. You do what other people won't do. You go the extra mile. You put in the extra work. You give the extra hand. You will be rewarded in folds for the love that you are. They have an understanding of this and they're helping you. They're always helping you. They're always with you. So talk to them. They hear you at all times. Okay, Leo, let's get some messages from your loved ones. This is from the messages from heaven communication cards deck. This is by Jackie Newcomb. And let's see what your loved ones have to say this is for leo for the month of may your 2021 for the zodiac sign of leo am i taking that one i'm getting no not yet <laughs> we'll see if it comes back out for leo all right for leo spirit please come through as you always lovingly do for leo there it is Okay, and I'm going to start with the bottom of the deck. You may want to Google and look up and research Angels Numbers 36 and 2. Wow, gorgeous cards. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, Leo, your message from your loved ones in heaven, they want you to make room for that happy ending is now within your grasp. Yes, look at this card. Stunning. It's beautiful. It's immaculate. Get ready to paint Leo, and I don't mean with a canvas. Some of you are actually painters, so you may be doing both. Paint with your mind. Paint with your soul, Leo. It's time to show and tell spirit what makes you the happiest. Dream bigger. Dream farther and higher. Go past the limitations that you know, Leo. Past the skylights. Go past it. They want to bring you joy. I feel like something's coming to you, Leo, that your loved ones want you to have that's beyond anything you could have ever thought. A lot of you do dream big already. Being Leos, you're kings and queens and um, emperors and empresses. So understand this. You were made for eternal greatness. You were made for something beyond what you've seen or know. So you're going to have to dig deep, Leo, and be honest about what you really want, what really makes you happy. Do not hold back your goals and dreams. Dream extra, extra large. So if you dream to live in a castle, dream it. 
and mean it when you're in prayer and you're talking to God in spirit and you're manifesting. The stars are going to align for you, Leo. Your loved ones and your guides and God and Jesus and your spiritual team, they want you to know it's within your grasp. Yes, you can have it. Yes, you will have it. Don't just believe it. Know it and receive that. I want to read this card from the book. Uh-oh. What is this? Make room. Make room, Leo. Make room because they're about to make a way. And that's angel number two, I believe it was. I love it. You're ready for beautiful things to come in. That's what I'm hearing. You're ready. You've been ready. You were born ready. But you had to get the knowledge. You had to get, get through and go through the spiritual awakening. Oh, Leo, something wonderful is coming. Leo, your loved ones from heaven want you to make room for that happy ending. It's now within your grasp. When you work hard at something, of course, you have a big chance of making it happen in the way that you planned. Your loved ones are showing you that you're almost there and your goal is in sight. So persevere. They say to you, we believe in you. Keep going. Every time you may even think about giving up, know that your loved one is cheering you on right then and there. They're looking at you as you are the light. Know that they are saying to you, we believe in you. Keep going. We believe in you, Leo. Get up and keep going. We believe in you. Keep going. Beautiful. I love it. Beautiful. Thank you, spirit. Leo, the other message that came out for you is be creative. Look for ways to build, grow, and manifest. Like I said, it's time to speak those dreams into reality. It's time to talk those goals into life because, Leo, you actually do the work and put in the effort. You don't always say what you're doing, and that's fine because you are planning, preparing, working behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. You are that go-getter. And believe me, it is going to pay off. They believe in you. You believe in you. God believes in you. Your team got you. They got you. They're, they're helping you. They're guiding you. They're holding your hand. Manifest. This is the time. They want you to be creative. There's something incredibly creative that you're doing right now. You're doing it differently than anybody else. You're doing it your way. You're doing it the way that God blessed you to do it. That is the way. That is the right way. That is the only way. And you're going to grow by expanding your businesses. You're going to grow by getting more knowledgeable. You're going to grow by experimenting and trying different things and reaching out and researching and helping others and helping yourself. You are manifesting. All of this is manifesting. Speak, Leo. Speak. You've got to speak it. Keep planning. Keep creating. And take it step by step, day by day. You're going to get there. You're going to get there, Leo. Your guides, your loved ones, spirit, God says yes. Okay, from the Archangel Oracle Cards deck by Jareen Virtue. Leo, we're going to get some messages. For the Zodiac Son of Leo, spirit, please come through as you always do. For Leo, for the month of May, you're 2021. 20, for Leo. Leo spirit for Leo. What's the messages for the lovely Leos? There it is. At the bottom of the deck, you guys have healthy lifestyle. This came out, I believe it was for cancer. Yep. So you guys definitely need to um watch Cancer's reading. It resonates and it and it um it resonates with me and it's resonating with this message. Oh, wow. I feel spirit in my left hand. Thank you, God. Okay. So healthy lifestyle. It says from Archangel Raphael, your message reads as follows. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. They want you to be at your best. You go, you're going to need to be. Okay. For the wonderful things that's coming, you are going to have a lot on your plate. So you're going to have to balance and go to sleep maybe a little bit earlier or take naps throughout the day. Okay, 
Don't feel like a baby. Just take your naps as you need them. Even if they're little cat naps, 10, 20 minute naps, or just going a bit earlier, um, taking care of your health, making sure that you balance with some exercise, but don't overwork yourself. Okay. There's times even I have to say, okay, yeah, I did some readings today and I could push it and do three or four more, or I could go to sleep and just get a lot more done tomorrow. Okay. So if you know you have a busy week or a busy schedule, you may need to exercise less that week, eat a lot healthier, and you know you can exercise the next week and get more on track or fit it in where you can, but you don't have to overdo it, okay? So balance is key, and you need a healthy mind. You need a healthy body. You need your spirit and your soul to be cleansed and to be healthy. So to be at your best, you have to take care of you, Leo. Do not leave yourself out because while you're helping thousands and hundreds of other people and your kids and your mom and your dad and your families and your friends and everybody make sure that you are making time to take care of you okay you are a huge piece of the puzzle we need you leo and you need you so eat a lot more healthier make sure you're conscious of of that of eating healthier drinking healthier drinks you're going to feel better when you do everybody has you know, the junk that we eat. I love my junk food, but there's times where, you know, I balance that by, you know, making sure I get that salad in or making sure that I get, um, you know, maybe not eat as much or, um, you know, I have my junk day and then I have the other days where I don't, you know, have as much food or as, or as much food that's, you know, you know, higher, higher in calories, you know, you got to balance. Okay. And I definitely get my exercise in, even if it's just, you know, walking at the park, walking on the treadmill or just exercising at home, you don't always have to go to a gym. But spending time in nature is always good for any, any of us, really, um, especially you, Leo, um, being grounded and getting that fresh air and doing what's best and what's safe for you should always come first. But you can exercise anywhere, okay? Just be careful, be safe, and take care of you, and don't overdo things, okay? You already have a lot coming up. Okay, Leo, what came out for you is spiritual understanding. I love it. Archangel Raziel wants you to know... I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. You're going to see more omens, more synchronicity, symbols. You may need to draw or write some of these things down. You're going to get more spiritual understanding. You are ascending still, Leo. A lot of you went through ascension, but now you're going to even raise a higher vibration because you're going to keep growing. You're going to keep climbing. You're going to get more ideas to grow your channels for some of you who are doing... Um, tarot and oracle card channels or building onto your business or changing your career or doing a family business whatever you're doing you're going to get more spiritual understanding about it there's going to be other parts that god and spirit sending you your angels are sending this to you it's also your um your guides your team your ancestors your loved ones in heaven they're all sending you a lot of information esoteric information okay so be ready to google things look things up numbers and just know um, it's going to make sense. Even the things that don't ask God and spirit for clarity and uh, guidance and understanding and the things that don't, you don't understand like today or the things that don't make sense, they will. Okay. God, see, all, I always look at this card and I see the dots, all the light and it all connects. Okay. Everything is going to make sense. Okay. So keep learning about life, learning about spirit, learning about God and yourself and the gifts that you have. And a lot of you are going to find out that you have even more gifts than you thought you had because you're growing. So they're unlocking the keys to your gifts. So, the, you know, you're reaching new heights. So more gifts are coming out. And I feel like they've always been in you, Leo. It's just now they are exposed to you because you're ready for them. Beautiful reading, Leo. Okay. Leo, this has been your messages from your loved ones in heaven reading for the month of May, your 2021 Leo, I have sincerely enjoyed giving you this reading. I wish you all infinite joy, blessings, and abundance, love, and light. Keep spiritually ascending. Keep growing. Keep going. Never, ever, ever give up and know that your loved ones love you each and every second of your life. God bless you. Bye, Leo.